Okay, I'll take that. Straight. Dude, I don't even question it anymore. I know. How much you have on the poster? Bloggy flips. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, how's it going? Man? Good, man. How are you? I'm doing all right. I'm, I'm a big fan. Yeah, oh, man. awesome, watch, Anthony. Watch all the time. <laughs> Selling eBay myself. This is just all overflow stuff. Cool, man. What's your name? Uh, Miles. 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 Nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in college. This is what I do during the summer. So it's, nice. I'm just trying to get cool. Get you buy stuff out of here. Awesome, man. You buy storage units? Oh uh, yeah, storage yeah. units. Open all the time. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. I talked to your buddy. You know, uh, Jeremy. Yeah. Oh yeah, Jeremy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I talk to him all the time. He's, awesome. Yeah. yeah. He's one of my good friends. He's a cool guy. Oh, for sure. For sure, for sure. Yeah, I don't know if I have anything you're interested in. I mean, obviously, got some video game stuff. There's some magic stuff here. I don't know if you like that. I, I don't know mm -hmm. anything about that stuff. So, I mean, oh, cool. There's some magic cards in there. Awesome. There. Oh, hey, yeah. Yeah, how's it going, man? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Back home. I'll try to look through. How much you have on the magic cards? Uh. 15 bucks is good with me. Cool. Sounds good, man. You gotta get a, a, a picture with you too after this. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> there you yeah, go. It's like, I saw, I saw you drive by. I was like, I swear, that's his car. <laughs> oh, that's uh, right I there. was like, no way does it stop right here. It's all this stuff. Yeah. The sun is. is it? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> okay. All right, man. Thanks awesome, so much. Man. Appreciate it. Cool, bud. Take care. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you? Neck, yeah. Just, you could use new strings. I was never gonna remember that part, but nice boys. How much have on it? Uh, I had it marked. Oh. Yeah, somewhere. Could be on the case somewhere. Uh, Thirty. Okay. Should that deal on the antique? Really? Yeah, that's neat. Mahogany and uh, everything's glued down and everything still. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. It's Nick looks good. Okay, I'll take that. All right. Well, let me keep looking around for a sec. I'd buy him to make sure the neck not both. Right, yeah, 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 that's important. So, the cap guns? Yeah, I bought a couple of them. Some of them are newer, you know, cheaper ones, but they're small ones in here. Yeah. It's kind of neat. The old ones that did a little work. I used to buy these, take springs out of them, and put them in the good ones. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah some older ones right there. Pony boy. Sure. Fine one. He, he took the green fossil. Okay. All right. Okay. Going to Holiday World, and we're going to decorate a float. And I'm going to make this to treasure. We're doing a pirate hey. ship on it. Welcome home. So I'm just hey. using all the pieces to put in the bag I've got. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay. We used to do this. Yeah. It's a great Did you? So you know what I'm talking about. You have to find stuff that's kind of, you know, inexpensive. And, and we are taking so much junk down there that I don't know how to do it before. How you doing, Andy? Uh, I'm doing all right. How are you, Ryan? Hi, how are you? That one I, I should be fairly tuned. Yep. <laughs> That's very cool. Very nice little you. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna grab the guitar, this, and the box of cap guns. But the one I play in. Okay. The one I play is the missile. Oh really? Here's your ten for the two. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, and five. Thank you, sir. All right, you have a great day. Thank you. Good luck, Ron. Hey. All right, give me both of them. I'll give you four. Watch your channel all the time, my man. Oh, do you really? Yeah. That's awesome, man. There you go. This is my vintage shop. I'm with 
I, I got Hanford vintage stuff, and we're doing 50% off everything on these racks. Okay, cool. I got Harley Boys. I got like racing tees. You have like rock and roll t-shirts or anything? Too. Oh, what's up? Do you have like rock and roll t-shirts or anything? Yeah, like, band tees are going to be. So that's animate. Yeah, so band tees are going to be from here uh, all the way to here. Sweet. Awesome. in these so except for the Carhartt stuff oh, that's cool uh, just you know twenty dollars for any Carhartt I got band keys in there too so. oh do you yeah and that one's cool right that there it's been thrashed and <laughs> it's cool though yeah all OG, like OG single stick yeah I love Woo. that graphic on there yeah he's, he's the guy what do you have there it's, uh, uh, hey what is this stuff set it over here would you if you wait I have the other like big like super combo for oh do you that. Okay. Yeah, and I'll I'll give you like a, a good price on that. Awesome. Actually, hey baby, go top to like one? the top one and uh, grab the box of toys. It has that other aliens uh, super set. Yeah. It. How much you have on the poster? Uh, or should I make a pile or something and then talk yeah, to you afterwards? Yeah, that's the best. Okay. Yeah, the cool. Best. Yeah. And I won't keep bothering you. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Cool. I'm gonna take a little break from wearing my butt off. <laughs> Alright man, what do I owe you? I think that was marked at 75. 75. Let's just go ahead and do 30 on that. Sure. So yeah, 35. When the little huge alien thing that yeah, I paid, I think I paid I don't know, something like uh, 15 bucks. I just want my cash back, man. Okay. So it'll be like uh, like 15 for the 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 other like set and that one. Just get okay. out of here. Cool, so we're so, at 50? Yep. Another racing going out. All right, I added five records to it too. Five records, five. Is it ten bucks for it all? Sure, deal. All right, sounds good to me. So we're at sixty with that, and she's on her way in five to five minutes. Yeah. Okay. Chill out for like a sec. Do you need some change? Yeah, please. I have some. These people are hitting me up and all. I've been getting as hundreds. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. Six, seven, three, eight, nine, forty, and sixty. All right. Awesome, awesome dude. I should get you going a little bit. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm new to that. <laughs> man. What's your name? Uh, Anthony. Anthony, pleasure. Mm -hmm. Jermaine, man. Nice to meet you, bud. Yeah. Greetings. Morning, buddy. Greetings How are you doing today? Good, bro? man. How are you? Brother, I know you're looking at those going, where were these the last time I was buying comic books, right? Dude, I don't even question it anymore. I know. Don't don't question me. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me just be right back. Um, brother, will you man the fort? Yeah, man, I got don't you. Don't sell anything. Okay. <laughs> we're friends. Take for a cookie jar, Michael Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> Five bucks. Sold. <laughs> I just want you, I'm a huge fan of your... Uh, oh, awesome. Hey, Anthony, what's your name? Nick. Nick, nice to meet yeah. you, man. Thank you very much. Watch a lot, and I tell my wife all about it. That's funny. Do you recognize this guy, then? No. No? No. Yeah, yeah, he's been in a couple of videos. <laughs> then I put one. <laughs> one so, yeah. That's awesome. Good, Thank good you. Some older ones. You're welcome. What are you asking on the Star Wars, guys? Um, I'd like to get uh, 180 for the whole thing. Okay. And you got Boba Fett underneath. And you got the uh, Jawa. He's awesome. I don't have a Jawa. All right, I'm making my mental notes. <laughs> right, and then when you're, you know, your dad gets retired, 40. Yeah, those are brand new, made to look old. I love that. That's cool. Oh, sorry. I'm, sorry. <laughs> I'm leaning towards these, though. I like okay. those. I love it. I feel like that's the home it needs to go to. <laughs> Did you sell those uh, basketball cards? The 74 tops? No. No? You want to see those? Are they out here? I mean, like, you don't have to. They're just right inside the living room. I, I forgot to bring them out. I just thought they looked kind of neat. They were kind of neat. I'd, I'd go really low on those, too, by Wait. the way. Oh, okay. Because as I look at them, there's no, there's no Hall of Famers in it. So yeah. 
you know, they're probably three or four dollars a piece, but I would go, you know, whatever. Okay. You know, Twenty or thirty dollars, and they're pretty cool though. Well, okay. All right. Yeah, those just look cool. I mean, those are like a good a set completer, I would think. Yeah. You know. Somebody will need those for their set. I wish Will Chamberlain was in there. <laughs> sure, I sure. wish Bill Walton was in there. All right, Star Wars figures? Yes. Cards, Boba Fett's. Okay. And these two. Okay. What did I tell you on Star Wars for you? I think you said you were asking 180 for the... Yeah. So 180... I'll do 15 on the two top ones. Sure. It's, that makes it 195, and then uh, one, 205, and then 25 on that, so that's 230 for that. Okay. And then, and then 20 bucks, did I say? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So 250? 250. Deal, man. All right. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 20, 40, 60. Awesome, man. Right, let me give you a... Nah, don't worry about it. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it, dude. We're good. All right, buddy. Thanks, bro. Good to see you. Good luck. All right, we are back in the garage, and that is what I call a great day of yard sales. Got a lot to show you, so let's just get right into it. At the first sale, I paid 15 bucks for a big lot of Magic the Gathering cards and some dice and these deck boxes here. I've grown pretty confident with things like Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh, but Magic the Gathering, I just never find this stuff. But obviously, I'm willing to take a shot on it. Honestly, I've not really gone through these yet. I doubt there's anything super special, but they're always fun to look up this kind of thing, and that's how you learn. The second sale was really cool. We'll start off with this box of cap guns. Uh, most of these are pretty vintage. Some are newer. They're all probably pretty much for parts. He was only charging 25 for the entire entire box. I figured I'd take a shot on them. I think realistically this pack of Tootsie Toy American West cap boxes should pay for everything. I don't think you're supposed to sell them on eBay, so I won't be doing that, but it's nice to know that the value is there. And then if you decide that you want to sell the actual cap guns on eBay, you have to make sure that you put something orange in the barrel. I don't know exactly what I'll do yet. Like I said, most of these are four parts. This one is probably the one with the most potential. It's a uh, Hubley or Hubley. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it, but it's a cowboy model. Looks like in really nice condition, these can sell for way over 100 bucks, maybe closer to 200. I think I'll probably just sell the entire thing to someone that restores these or something, I don't know. And then right here, we actually have a pretty special little guitar. It might be easy to pass something like this over because it doesn't really look special, but this is actually a mid 1950s Harmony H162 3-4 size guitar. So Harmony used the H162 model number for two different guitars. The other one is a full size body guitar and it is definitely more common. I think this was considered more of a child's model back then and there's just not that many of them around. It's got a solid spruce top and solid mahogany back and sides. It's got a super fat baseball bat size neck. And from what I can tell, these are really sought after guitars. A lot of times people use these as Terz guitars. T-E-R-Z basically just means that the strings are tuned from G to G instead of E to E, just kind of gives it a different sound sits a little higher in the mix i think there's a good chance that the pit guard on this one might not be original doesn't really matter it's just something i noticed i think it looks kind of cool but when i bought it i just made sure that the uh, bridge was laying flat and not coming unglued i made sure that the neck was straight and not bowed i made sure that the neck didn't have any lift at the joint here so it's in really fantastic shape there's no cracks or warping or anything the saddle down here has really been dug into over the years as well as the nut up here so it really needs to have that replaced and the saddle replaced i do know a guy that owns a guitar shop i may see what he charges me to replace those because if i can get this playing really well it'd be worth somewhere in the three to five hundred dollar range and i paid 30 bucks for this the main issue that that's causing is it just will not stay in tune for very long i'll try to strum a couple chords here while it's semi in tune already starting to go out of tune but very cool guitar happy to have found it for 30 bucks the more modern cordoba 15 cm ukulele however is just a nice playing modern instrument also 30 bucks i think they sell new for about 150 used uh for about 80 to 100 so not bad at 30 bucks
The next sale was really cool as well. That guy had a lot of really neat stuff. I tried to really pick and choose and not go overboard, and I'm super happy with what I did find. Uh, a couple of these Lennard alien xenomorph type figures and play sets. Just kind of took a shot on them because I know the Lennard Rampage stuff does pretty well. These aren't quite as good. I think that this big set usually sells for like 35 to 45 bucks. The smaller set sells for like 15. I paid 15 for both of them, so that's okay. Grabbed a few records. There was a bunch of cool titles in that bin. Most of the covers and the records themselves looked pretty well loved, so I just grabbed a small stack like Kiss Alive 2, Houses of the Holy by Led Zeppelin. We got The Doors, Harvest by Neil Young, and Jimmy Buffett A1A. Paid two bucks a piece for those. In this condition, I'll probably get eight to 10 a piece out of them in my booth. I thought this true vintage single stitch Guns N' Roses 1991 concert t-shirt was really neat. I'm pretty sure that this is like a parking lot bootleg. Something that you would have bought standing in line waiting to get into the venue. And these things can definitely have value. There are certainly collectors out there. I'm not saying that I agree with bootlegs, but it's definitely part of the culture. It's a really neat shirt in my opinion. It's got a few tiny little spots on it, but for the most part, it's in pretty good shape. And, and that graphic is just pretty killer on there as far as I'm concerned. So I did end up paying 30 bucks for this, which I think was a fine deal. I saw a US tour 1989 Guns N' Roses parking lot shirt on Worth Point that, that uh, just sold back in May. It sold for 300 bucks. No clue what this one's actually worth. Like I said, I thought it was super cool. And then we have the vintage 1987 Lost Boys poster. I already have this thing in a frame because I did not want anything happening to it. So cool. Definitely my favorite movie of all time. I never find Lost Boys stuff. Not a chance I was going to leave this behind. Paid $5 for it. The same poster sold a few days ago on eBay for well over $100. Sometimes they sell for closer to $50. I don't care. It's amazing. And then I finished up the day at my old buddy Haas's house. If you've been watching the channel for at least a few months, you've uh, probably seen Haas in a few videos. He just happened to be having a yard sale. I figured I'd save it till the end because because uh, we've done so much business lately. But I'm definitely glad I stopped by. Picked up a few smalls. I think he gave me both of these uh, Mandalorian Boba Fetts for $7.50 a piece, like two for 15. I'll probably put a tag on them for 12 or 15 a piece and throw them up on a shelf. I bought the little stack of Pokemon Lamin cards and these little art box holograms, mainly because I have no experience with these, so I thought they'd be fun to look up later, which I still have not gotten around to do, but those are pretty cool, I think. Paid 20 bucks for this binder full of 1974 Topps basketball cards. He said there were no Hall of Famers or anything in here, but I thought they had a really cool look. Uh, there's there's well over 100 cards, I think closer to 120, 130 cards for 20 bucks for all of them. People are always trying to complete sets of these. I'll probably just pop a tag for 40 or 50 bucks on them, but they were definitely fun to look at. And then we have the old case of Star Wars action figures. Let me tell you why I was cool spending 180 bucks on these. First of all, this is the 1977 mini action figure case. This case alone with the two trays unbroken. These can sell for like 25 to 50 bucks on their own just for the case. Secondly, I recently picked up a lot of G.I. Joes. They just happen to have a few Star Wars weapons mixed into it. One of which is this blaster here for Boba Fett. I noticed that there was a pretty nice Boba Fett in the case here. Pretty good paint all over. The joints are pretty good. Now it's complete. So this figure here with the weapon that I had laying around should pay for quite a big chunk of this entire lot. Other weapon I had laying around was the Jawa blaster, which would complete this little Jawa right here, which also just happens to complete another project that I've been working on. I've been trying to buy lots of Star Wars sell off the ones I don't need until I was able to complete a first 12 figure collection plus two. The first 12 Star Wars action figures complete plus Yoda plus Boba Fett. But the Jawa complete was the last figure that I needed to complete that collection. And the goal was to complete the entire collection in as near mint condition as possible just by buying lots, selling off what I didn't need, upgrading as I went. It took about six or eight months, but here we finally have it. And I mean, most of these figures are just absolutely beautiful. Like this farm boy Luke, look at that saber. There's no bend to it. It's not broken. Same with Darth Vader here. Absolutely beautiful lightsaber. Yoda, complete, fantastic condition. Ben Kenobi's lightsaber, also absolutely wonderful. I did end up with a couple graded figures for backup as well, like this 75 plus. Luke here. I think that my loose figure is actually nicer than this one. Plus he's made in Taiwan, which makes him a little bit more valuable anyway, as well as this R2-D2, which is graded 80. R2-D2s are, are so hard to find in really good condition. That, that sticker just gets worn down. I feel like the only thing now that could use an upgrade is the uh, Sand People cape. It's got a little rip in it. Other than that, everything else is about as nice as I've ever seen. So I had no real rhyme or reason for doing this. It's something I set out to do about six or eight months ago. I was able to complete it. Now I'll probably sell the entire collection. And when it comes down to it, after I sell all this off here, I'll have very little money invested in this lot. So just kind of my way of keeping things interesting. That's all I got for you this time. As always, I want to thank you so much for watching the video. But until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Love ya! Bye. When they hear that cha-ching And they all look at me I guess they'll know I'm 
buying this crap.